Uh, the video toaster, actually the entire Amiga, is in for servicing right now. The main menu thing that comes up when you boot up the computer is called Workbench. Basically, uh, Workbench is a point-and-click interface. Anyway, it was freezing up constantly. Like, I'd, be, I'd click on a, on a window or whatever to open it, and then all of a sudden the mouse pointer would just freeze on the screen and I wouldn't be able to do anything. I'd have to reset the computer. And anyway, it got to the point where it was freezing all the time, wouldn't let me do anything. Before that happened, I tried to get into the toaster and it said video toaster not responding. So I reinstalled the software, tried it again, still didn't work. I opened the thing up and made sure the video toaster board itself was in there okay. I made sure all the other boards, the RAM expansion board was snug, snug in there and made sure everything was hooked up properly. It was all fine. And it still said video toaster not responding. So it sounds like we may have a hardware problem there. Uh, I don't know, something's wrong, and uh, I don't know what. So anyway, my dad took the computer in today, and he's going to uh, get it all fixed up. Oh yeah, there's a McDonald's in Selkirk now. I guess about the past month or two it's been under construction. Anyway, it's grand opening was yesterday, the 17th. And uh, there you go. I'm thinking of uh, trying to get a script sold. Uh, I'm going to be taking the script I wrote a while ago, uh, going through it, softening it up for television. It's quite violent. Anyway, I'm going to uh, redevelop the story, rework it, make the characters a little more solid, and break it down into one-hour episodes. I figure I'll write about 13 episodes, like 13 episode scripts, maybe a little more, a little less. That's about half a season for a TV series, right? So I figure I'll write about 13 episodes, get an agent, and submit them to some companies and see what happens. Maybe I'll be able to make a sale because I really need cash. Besides, it would be nice to have a big, uh, a big company produce it for television, you know? And I think it's just odd enough and just different and unique enough that it might actually make it. But we'll, we'll wait and see. So I'm hoping to make something of that. I'm putting that on hold again until uh, I can get some more equipment. I figure total cost, uh, including equipment, sets, costumes, and props, will be uh, around 50 grand most likely more. So until I can come up with 50 grand, like about half of that is just for purchasing new equipment. Like I want to use all high 8 equipment, not regular 8mm video, but high 8. That's the high end professional standard for 8mm. Higher grade of tape, higher grade of equipment. Virtually the same picture quality as Laserdisc. I'm going to uh, see about investing in some, some of that kind of equipment. So what I want to get is I want to get a fully functional video toaster set up for the animation and effects. Uh, most of the sets are just going to be uh, just going to have the actors blue screened over top of miniatures. That'll reduce costs considerably, but we are going to have to make some sets. That's one of the things I like about living in a townhouse now. I'm keeping the basement as uncluttered as possible so that I'll be able to use that as a makeshift studio. I mean, it's big enough. I can uh, I could easily put together some uh, basic sets down there, you know. It would be great. It's an unfinished basement, so it's even easier to dress up as a set. Actually, I wanted an unfinished basement solely for that reason. I mean, how are you going to dress a finished basement up as a set, you know? As for the script, I'm going to be reworking that as well. There's a place downtown that sells scripts, like t TV and movie scripts. I'm going to buy a few of them, just to see, like, the proper structure, proper form for a script is, and also how many pages go into an hour-long episode. And I'm going to break down into uh, either half-hour or probably one-hour episodes, and, uh, We'll see what happens. I'm going to break it down into workable episodes. Cutting down on the dialogue because it's very, very talky right now. There's a lot of talking in it and I want to cut that down a bit to a minimum. A lot of talking about history and how they survived and everything. I'm going to cut that down to just a few lines of dialogue because it's not necessary to say all that really. Because like, I'm thinking in particular Star Trek The Next Generation. It's like I watch, I watch that fairly frequently now. Uh, I noticed they get across a lot of very complex concepts in very few words, you know. They do it mostly visually, like they'll show you things and they'll say a few words about it, but just enough so that you understand what's going on, you understand what's happening, and then you can move on with the story. That's what I want to try to do, because it starts off painfully slow. I mean, just walking around talking, you know. So I'm going to get it boom, 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 moving a little faster. I'm going to up the pacing considerably. So I'm going to purchase some, uh, they have some Star Trek Next Generation scripts there. I'm going to buy some of them, a couple of them, just to see what kind of, uh, like, story structure they use for that in terms of pacing and, uh, and how many pages per script. And, of course, the proper script form should work out nicely. So I'm going to 
fix up the script. I figure about six hour long episodes should do it. Maybe. Maybe more. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I'm hoping to uh, ultimately have a full 26 episode season written. For the time being I'm going to concentrate on uh, just developing the stories and the characters. I've got uh, some rather large sheets of paper here. I'm going to do uh, what John Cleese did when writing uh, Faulty Towers. And what he did was he would basically start off with this big piece of paper, right? Have a few scattered ideas around and make basically an idea tree. Like each uh, little event would branch off into other events and so forth until finally coming to one event at the end of the episode where everything would be concluded, right? So uh, that's just to sort of see in visual terms how everything's connected and make sure it all flows nicely story-wise and plot-wise. So that's what I'm going to do for all the uh, episodes for the time being. Story-wise, that's what I'm going to do. I still have to uh, work on the characters. I figure what I'll do is I'll do character sketches for each of them. That way we'll, I'll be able to have more solid characters in it, which is what I want. I'm going to try to give each character like little mannerisms and stuff like that, you know. Things that will make them look a little more real, you know. Like for example me, I tend to do this a lot. That's how I uh, wipe the grease from the bridge of my nose when I'm wearing my glasses. Yeah, I'll give one of them that mannerism or something, you know. I'll think of something. I'm going to be watching my friends fairly closely to see what kind of mannerisms they have and I'll see which... Uh, anything that I see that is unique or unusual or, uh, or whatever, I'll uh, possibly incorporate into some of the characters. I think that should be interesting. I more or less know what the characters are like now because I've developed them a little better. But I'm going to develop them a little more in the, in the second draft of the script. It's going to be a while. So don't expect any tapes to arrive anytime soon. So anyway, I'll talk to you later. Whatever's next, enjoy it. It's a surprise to me as well. Uh, I haven't been putting together these videos for a while, so... Like these video letters, so... I have some editing to do. I'm gonna have to find all the footage I've shot and edit it together. And, uh, like that, so I'll probably do that tonight. But I'm gonna be kind of busy. I was supposed to film New Life Community Church today because uh, their regular cameraman is unavailable. I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> I was supposed to film it at w film it at one. It is now twelve thirty three p.m. Anyway, talk to you later, and uh, enjoy the rest of the show. Adios. Special surprise coming up next. It's a surprise to me as well as you. See ya. Oh.